welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of September 23rd through the 29th. This was the previous week, so it's currently Monday, September 30th. Oh my goodness, tomorrow's the first, you guys. So wild. It feels like it was seriously just turning 2019. I cannot believe this. This is so crazy. We're entering high holidays and we're doing fall kits. What is this? I don't even know. Um, but to kick off more fall kits, I'm using this absolutely stunning kit from Two Little Bees. It's on gorgeous premium matte paper. I believe I picked this up maybe a month ago. A month or two ago um, a lot of shops had used this clip art it's just so stunning so I'm really excited to lay this down and just see how it looks get all the fall vibes going um, it is starting to feel like it's so wild to me the temperature has dropped in Arizona which normally the tell for um, Arizona is October 31st that's just like every single time that I um, when you're just looking forward to fall, you're like, you know, the weather is going to change. It's going to be crisp and cold by October 31st. And the fact that we're only in September, I mean, granted it's the end of September, but, um, and the weather has already dropped. It's just so crazy. And I cannot believe this. It's so wild. Um, so bear with me here as I don't feel the best right now. I'm very short breathed. Um, oh my gosh, how am I going to only pick eight of these boxes? Well, I'm going to use all mine. That's a lie. I'm using all of them. Yeah, we're going to use all of them. I mentioned in a video, I don't know if that video has gone up yet. My videos are all over the place. Oh, I was expecting this to be one full big guy. That was shocking. Okay. Okay, okay, what do we do here? Oh, I love this. It's so pretty, so pretty. Oh my goodness, let me figure out what I'm gonna do here first and then I'll kind of get into story time and chit chat and everything. This is just so stunning, I love this. Okay, hang on once, okay, so I don't think I'm going to white anything out. I'll probably white out my sidebar actually and maybe my date covers, but as far as full boxes go, I'm just gonna kind of leave it these are darker full boxes so hopefully it should be fine um so anyways my fears i just don't ever think i lined this up properly oh you know what i did solid i mean i should be able to if i'm following the lines on the planner but the only box i might need to white out is the white one it's fine. We'll figure it out. Um, so I, like I was saying, my videos are kind of all over the place right now. I had a schedule and I just keep diverting from the schedule. Um, but I'm back. I, th I think I'm going to be able to kind of stick to it now. Thankfully. Um, or hopefully. And yeah, so... Um, what I was basically saying in one of my videos was that I was supposed to be in California this weekend. So it's Monday the third, or yeah, Monday the thirtieth. I have today and tomorrow off because of Rosh Hashanah. Happy New Year! If you are Jewish, um, I hope you are, you know, spending the time with your friends and your family around loved ones. Um, I don't really know too much about Rosh Hashanah, um, so if someone would like to educate, um, that would be great. I do know apples and honey is a thing, but um, I do not have work today because of Rosh Hashanah, and I don't have work tomorrow either. So I know one of my coworkers was saying she was spending all day yesterday and today in Temple. That looks good to me. Let's try that one more time. But yeah, so I was supposed to be um, long weekend and on Saturday my one of my good friends from university he his best friend was getting married on Saturday the 28th and he asked if I would go with him 
and it was in Mammoth Lakes, which I've never been, but it looks absolutely stunning. And so I was really, really excited to go. And then from there, my friend lives in um, the Bay Area. And I really wanted to explore San Francisco for a while. So I would booked a place in San Francisco and was going to be there for two full days. Um, so yeah, I had a really fun weekend planned, but unfortunately I ended up getting really sick um, and I had to cancel the entire trip. So I'm home and I've been taking it easy. Luckily I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, you know, I was just editing the video. It was talking about hand, foot, and mouth. So, so far I'm clear with that. <laughs> That's the last thing I truly don't want to get that. Um, it was the video before this. That this will not be going up for a while. I don't think. Um, but I was talking about in that video and I'm marking it in my planner. I work with the toddlers in the morning and then I go to my core class during the, um, after an hour before the school starts. So I work morning care. Um, and basically I was loving on this little boy who I am just smitten over. I think he, I'm smitten over all the little kids that I have in the morning. Um, but this little boy have, and I have like a little, a little love affair. He um, is, I think he's 15 months and just an absolute heartthrob. Adore him to pieces. And we play this little game where we'll get really close and our noses touch or we'll like do a little kiss. This sounds more, <laughs> it's very innocent, trust me. He's 15 months. And um, then he'll like, throw his head away and he'll like just start cracking up laughing or he'll put his hand on my mouth and then I'll pretend to like pretend to bite it or whatever it's just he's super sweet and just a really really great kid so we were doing our little game um that on Thursday morning and then about an hour later when I was about to go to my core class I found hand, foot, and mouth on his feet um, and his legs, unfortunately. So um, that <laughs> is never fun um, for kids, but it's really not fun for adults because um, they, um, adult, like there's no treatment for hand, foot, and mouth. You, you just have to basically manage the pain. And for some reason, um, you know, little kids handle it like champs and adults have just a much harder time with that. And so I've been trying to keep an eye on that. I've had a very sore throat for this entire week that I'm currently back planning. Um, I went to the doctor Friday morning. Um, a co-teacher had strep, so I just wanted to get the strep test and just make sure that I wasn't in any risk of having anything very serious if you do get hand foot and mouth and you do have the blisters um you can't be around anyone because it's very very contagious um so yeah i went to the doctor got strep test um and all that i was clear to go on my trip and yeah so basically also hand foot and mouth doesn't show up or doesn't expose itself until three to six days after being exposed if that makes sense so i'm still luckily in the clear all's good but my throat has been killing me this whole week and um basically i had to cancel my trip i woke up i woke up saturday morning just um at 4 45 a.m i took care of my dogs and when autumn begins on monday so yeah, I woke up Monday morning, took care of my dogs, um, fed them, and then I was going to get ready to go to the airport. My flight was at um, like a 7.20 flight. I got back in bed. I couldn't do it. 
and my dad was really happy that that was the decision that I made um, because sometimes see I have the I have a hard time balancing when I should be pushing myself and when I should be letting myself recover and rest and go easy on myself gosh And so I was trying, I was pushing, I was pushing, I was pushing. I had gone to Target on Thursday to get um, some tea. I'm obsessed with this turmeric tea. Um, I forget the, the name of it, but it's absolutely delicious. Turmeric, tea, turmeric in general is really, really good for you. Um, so I like there, I make this homemade tea if... It's called the Sick Tea. I got the recipe from Flav City. Absolutely love Flav City. I would highly recommend looking him up. He um, is a... Um, basically, he's based out of Chicago, Illinois. He has a YouTube video or YouTube channel, and he has a website, and he helps make these absolutely delicious meals. He goes into stores and tells you where, to, where the best price is, is to buy things. Um, you know, what to, what ingredients to avoid. He's just, he's really great and very knowledgeable. So I'd highly suggest looking him up. If YouTube isn't your thing, I mean, you're on tube, YouTube right now. So I'm going to assume you don't mind watching YouTube videos. But if you would rather read an article, he does have um, all of his videos in article form. So anyways, I really am obsessed with him. I make his sick tea. Um, so if you're ever feeling like you're getting a cold, look that recipe up. It's, I think it tastes like Gatorade. Um, my <laughs> sister and my dad, I don't think they thought that. But anyways, um, it has turmeric and ginger and cayenne in it. And this tea I was picking up from Target basically kind of reminded me of a version of it, but like the lazy version of it. Um, so again, super great health benefits. Um, and just is gonna help like knock out whatever you're kind of fighting and I've had a lot of luck with it so I personally really really like the tea add a little bit of um, honey to it and I really like it anyway so I went to, to Target on Friday to pick that tea up I also picked up a throat soother from the same brand I haven't tried that one yet um, I really honestly haven't been awake much until now. I'm impressed and happy that I'm out of bed right now. I have been super, super exhausted and just sleeping, sleeping my weekend away. I really haven't been up much. I can't stay awake more than like an hour increment. Um, so, um, yeah, but I am feeling a lot better and wish I was in um, wishing, wishing I was in San Francisco. I had met, when I went to Europe, um, two summers back, I had made a friend from Australia and he was going to be in San Francisco, so it would have been really great to see him, especially since he had, he was here from so far away. Um, and yeah, when he, he had like messaged me and was like, hey, I'm gonna be in Arizona. Um, this was last weekend and that was the weekend I was in San Diego for my friend's birthday. So that didn't work out. And the fact that um, we were both gonna be in San Francisco at the exact same time, it was just kind of like um, fate, you know, like it was just, it was awesome um, that that was gonna be a possibility. And then of course this pops up, so. A little sad about that, but, um, you know, everything happens. For I wasn't paying attention and it stopped recording. Um, I hope that this is in focus. I don't know why I'm really not good at making sure things are in focus. Oh, I, like, noticed at the end of one of my other videos that um, it wasn't, and I was just really disappointed in myself. Um, but we'll get it. If you have any tips, let me know. I'm gonna be using these leaves, I think. I think. I also have this here, which would be really, really pretty. 
Oh, I think I'm going to do that. Just because it's so stunning. And then maybe maybe we'll come back to the leaves. Um, I just love this cranberry color. I feel like it really pulls from some of these full boxes. But this is from The Giving Girl. I would say these are um, a lot thicker. Not a lot, but you know, they're thicker than a regular header size. I still use them as headers though, clearly. Um, I think they're really, really pretty. I don't know if she still has them. I haven't been on her website in a while. I um, have mentioned this before, but I'm currently on a no spend and I see all these things that I want to buy. Of course, that's what happens when you're on a no spend. When you're not supposed to be spending anything, you see everything you want to buy. Um, but um, I don't like, obviously, I don't buy anything, or not obviously, I am like, force myself to avoid the temptation. And then come the time when I actually need to pick some things up, I completely forget the things that I wanted to get and get way too overwhelmed. So, um, yeah. I don't know why I need to tell that story, but I did. So what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do now is take this bottom washi strip and place it here. And then I'm gonna cut it down um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down to a header size. Oops. Nice lay down straight. Okay, and now let's see, let's cut this down, and the reason I'm cutting this down instead of just leaving it is because I'm going to go ahead and put um, some overlays, um, some foiled header overlays over it. In the move to watch in the mood to watch love actually right now I don't know why oh there we go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for both sides and I will be right back Okay, so I went ahead and cut everything up and put down some overlays. So I used these um, header overlays from Nettie Designs. They just have like stars on them and I felt like it was very leafy fall-esque. So I definitely wanted to use that. I'm going to go ahead and go into my sidebar now. Basically, I'm just going to be taking this weekly box and um, let's do this one. Oh wait, no, no, no. No. Let's do the clipboard since we have that available. Clipboard and I'm going to take this This little, this pattern. Put that down. Oh, okay. No, I'm not. Kidding. What will fit? That's 
twine. I'm going to take the This Week um, script and we'll just put that on top of the leaf header. Beautiful. And then let's do... Okay, so let's go ahead and go in day by day. Okay, I think that might be in focus. So let's go ahead and start by putting actually our two, so Autumn and Rosh Hashanah. And these are by or Aura, um, Adorable. Amy Designs. Okay. Just making sure that Fall Begins is the same as Autumn. I don't know why. So I think I'm going to take these two more cranberries just to make everything pop a little bit. Or I'm debating on between that or these. Okay, so I think I'm going to take these. And do we want to do a bow or a heart? I think I'm going to, I feel like I'm doing, I want to do a heart. Just taking a heart from Clever Gal Crafts. This is the rosy colorway. And then we'll put Fall Begins on one. And Rosh Hashanah on the other. And the reason I flipped it around was just because I wanted the heart on the opposite of side of the checklist, if that makes sense. So fall begins. And these two colors match so perfect. Shoshana. Love that. All right, now we can start in on Monday. So now I'm going to have to move everything down a little bit, but that's okay. So on Monday, I took a really early lift ride to the airport. So I'm just going to take this car from the studio or the sticky committee. And I do want to take like a little layering piece, I think. Kind 
kind of feel like doing the leaves. So early lift with a friend to Sorry, the car was crooked. Where are my tweezers? That might help me a little bit. There we go. Early lift ride at 4 a.m. I finally was able to get on a flight, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the flight. Let's see. Let's do that there. And then... It's all kind of smushy. I might... Okay, hang on. Since I have don't have the room up there since I put fall begins and then let's actually leave that I'm gonna pick up something different instead of the airplane I thought it would look nice because it was gonna be in the same box and it kind of had the same scheme going and I actually don't even know if I want to do this yet so ooh, bear with me hang on one second guys let's do let's do the ticket yeah I like that And then, do we want to do this? Yeah, let's just do that. We'll just jam it all in there. So, sticky committee, paper muse, paper muse? Or paper blush. Get those two confused. Paper blush bar and then the Samantha May sticks. Okay, and then down here I watched The Greatest Showman, so I can either do her movie night. Oh, that is cute. Okay. I was going to pull in this one from Tickled Pink Planning, but I do like this one a lot. Okay, moving on to Tuesday. So Tuesday morning I got nectar, so I'm just going to take this coffee cup from Tickled Pink Planning to mark that I got um, that I got nectar that morning. It was going to be a long day so I needed all the fuel. I think this is when I started feeling sick so I got a turmeric um, juice and yeah. So I got that and then that um, afternoon after work I went to one of my favorite places called Mad Greens. It's absolutely delicious. I would highly recommend it. And I'm going to pull in that dot for that lighting piece because I just had it sitting on my hand. Um, so I got Mad Greens. I also got a coffee because I went and babysat after that. So I want to go ahead and take just like a quarter box maybe. And I have this nanning sticker from the Paperly Boutique, so I'm just going to take that and place that right on top.
And then when I got home that night, I needed to print a document. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, do a little layering action here. So I have this, this is a, from a $2 Tuesday from Simply Watercolor Co. It's just a clipboard. And then I have this sheet here from the Graceful Planner and I'm gonna take a printer and we'll just kind of see how I can layer and maneuver this. I think it was a really important document that I needed to get in. I was supposed to start grad school on Thursday. Um, oh, my head hurts and my sinuses, guys. It hurts so bad. Yeah, so I was supposed to start grad school on Thursday, and that was a document that I... Oh, my battery's going to die. That was a document that I needed to get in. Um, ASAP so um, definitely have to mark that unfortunately what happened was um, it was a cohort class and um, it got canceled so not starting grad school but you know what that opens up a door for other opportunities and um, or to pursue other opportunities and um, we'll just we'll kind of see what happens there. Speaking of all of that, um, I had a phone call with my counselor about that document. So I'm going to go ahead and take. Oh, I kind of really like this. This phone call from Toffee Bananas, which I don't think her name's Toffee Bananas anymore, but I do get quite confused with that. And let's take a flag. Like, I don't know, is, is she Paper Shire? I feel like a couple, couple shops have changed their names on, on us, and I just can't keep up. <laughs> I'm not that great. Um, after that phone call, I watched The Masked Singer because I was and am obsessed. So I'm just going to take a little TV by itself, and that is from CD Sticker. I realized I didn't have a notebook or anything for grad school, like to take notes or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, I, ooh, that scared me. Snapchat, what you doing to me? I'm gonna take a little arrow here. Oh, that's crooked. And I wish he had like a, a script that said Aaron. Oh, to buy. Oh, she's got to buy. Okay, we could do that. So we'll just take the little arrow and then the to buy. And then I'm going to take this little sampler from Simply Watercolor Co. and just put this little school supplies there at the bottom. And I think that's really, really sweet. I'm, I quite enjoy this half so far. It looks really nice. So on Thursday, Thursday morning is when I found out that grad school was canceled. So how did I want to mark that? I didn't pull anything. I didn't pull anything. You know, also it gives me time to kind of keep saving up for grad school, so. Mm -hmm. Um, I wish I had like a stop sign or <laughs> like a stop sign. What am I, uh, what am I thinking? Let's just take something from the kit then. Let's do, um, the bow or the computer. I think I'm going to take the bow. Okay. So that was canceled. And then this was the day that I got all the love from 
the little boy. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this exclamation point. And this is from White Deer Stationery. And I want to take a layering piece with this. Yeah, I think I will. And then that afternoon, I just filmed. So I'm going to take a little, what are that called? The cloppers from Rose Color Days. These are the YouTube icons. And we're just going to put that by itself. And then that night, um, Bloom hit 346 subscribers. So I most definitely need to mark that and want to mark that. Um, let's do more squared or round more round beautiful and I have these stickers here from lovers for love for stickers let's go ahead and I want to take this purple one for some reason kind of make that pop a little bit on Friday, Friday, my dad left for to see my little sister, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a little icon from Paper Blush Bar again. That early that morning, I had a doctor's appointment, so let's go ahead and take um, I think I'm going to take this um, appointment label and kind of finish up that sheet and then again from rose color days I have these health icons so I took the stethoscope or the teth tethoscope right teth not steth I don't know I'm sure when editing, I'm going to be like, Sarah, come on, you know. And then after that, that night, um, I had to run to Target. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and take, um, this was for the tea that I was talking about. Okay, I don't know why, but from the sticky committee, I took the coffee mug. That'll just represent the Target run. And then that night, I packed. So from the Grace Hall Planner, I have this sheet here, and I'm going to take the little suitcase. And I kind of want to take something. You know what, actually, I'm going to kind of do Mick what I did here, I think. So let's take this. Oh, I need to take my migraine medicine. My head hurts so bad. And then we'll take the to-do. Sorry, my sniffly nose. Oh, that's disgusting. Beautiful. I really love this little configuration. Saturday, I woke up really early. Is there an alarm clock? I know I have some alarm clocks. Hang on. Yes. So from Tickled Pink Planning, I'm going to take the alarm clock there. Because I did get up. And then... Let's go ahead and take 
No, I'm gonna do that on. Oh, who says I can't do it for both days? Okay, that's crooked, so bear with me here. So I had to cancel my, this is when I canceled my trips. So I'm just gonna take this little tickled pink planning sick girl to mark that and then that night let me grab the tv icons again because i watched some tv oh actually actually let's do this And I wish I had little, she had her little dots she used to have, um, or more of the arrows, because I watched quite a few things. But that's okay, I'll just write that all in. And then on Sunday, all I did was sleep. So again, I'm probably going to mimic something similar to that. Sleep, and I watched some... Bachelor in Paradise, which I finished watching, finally. Okay, and then I'll take this. And do I want to do the same girl? Yeah. There we go. Ah, it looks so perfect. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. So what I'm going to go ahead and go do real fast is fill this all out, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, this is how it turned out all filled out. I am obsessed with this spread. I think it looks very sweet, and I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I think Two Little Bees just does such a great job with her designs um, and her eye for just her stickers for her design. So I'm gonna go through this kit real quick just so you can see what I have left over. I do have quite a bit. So of course, none of this sheet. I have some functional items, bottom washi and headers, and then more functional items. So I'll definitely get a week out of this in a different planner. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my Instagram for more detailed pictures. Um, yeah, make sure to also give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are not already. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, week, and month. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later.